much there you just know you already have you know you you have tears in your eyes your your eyes are filled with tears call it dubai call it usa call it back in india call it in us you know name even a smallest in the smallest remote village in india you go show him that scene he will cry it's how the story was told by the storyteller and how the actor delivered it so it's just we just need to do our job right that's all right. thank you agarwal sir sure good evening sir i'm uh, sham from radio gilli me to telugu lo ikkada maatladataniki chaala happy ga undi and we know the great r r r mr ramcharan rajamouli garu and ramarao garu uh, i have two questions sir one is me idderki okay question just now rajamouli garu chepparu uh, same on march 14th the first me press meet lo cheppina adhe story how the fiction is happened ani so these three years how uh, difficult to maintain your physique and uh, three hour story ni mem entertain cheyataniki meeru three years kashta paddaru how uh, difficult ate manandari telisinde rajmuri garu first press meet lo chepparu one of will be one of the fastest uh, movies he is going to make and he really meant it aroja adi cheppina appudu but of course along with everybody we all went through the corona and andro we we all had a pause man andro oka pause button nokkam adi kevalo rrr e pause button nokkale so andro pause button nokkam so all of us put a pause button so that was the only delay but we've never uh, exceeded in the number of days we initially thought or rajmali garu thought we should work we never had extra uh, schedules happening rrr the day one press release that happened in hyderabad what rajmali garu said will be one of the fastest films i will make it was actually intended and it was it had happened but of course it's only the corona but keeping that aside how did we survive how all of you survived corona we also survived <laughs> as simple as that but keeping our interest keeping us alive of course the man himself uh, we were interacting me and tarak were interacting with him on a weekly basis sometimes monthly basis of course we want to keep a connect with our director and keep that enthusiasm and that uh, spark alive because all of us suddenly felt unemployed <laughs> unemployed for 2 years yeah. but uh, yes all of us uh, knew the end result of rrr even if i didn't speak to him weekly basis or monthly basis my zeal my thirst to see the end result would have still been alive because i know when i started rrr with what conviction i started rrr rajamali garu meeku oka question sir ante with magadira bahubali rrr now it's a pan india movie biggest level lo pada chestunnam me last movie around 2017 lo release ayindi bahubali 2 and now we are in 2022 rrr release kapothundi next cinema how quickly we can see and uh, we are expecting you a international movie meer telugu cinema ni indian level ante national movies ala andaru gurtisnaru so next movie gurinchi appude next movie work ent kandu we are still in our ala and uh, uh, god willing uh, and we have uh, fantastic uh, distributors like uh, mr golchin uh, rrr itself will become an international movie thank, thank you. you oh yeah Hello this is Manjusha from Gulf News uh, in Dubai uh, lovely to see you guys here and all the best for the film i just want to know this is a tale of two rebels right at the end of the day can you walk me through your rebellious phase in life and was it for a worthy cause i hope it was not against for some woman but yeah go for it try to make something up if you can but talk about your rebellious phase mic mic So I think it's better Charan answers the his rebellious journey first, and, and then and he was journey. rebelling against India's biggest superstar, Charan Jeevi Garu. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, actually, uh, Tarak, a uh, lot of rebels we have, but they have no cause. But he's a rebel with a cause. <laughs> That's why I love him, and uh, he's a he's a rebel, which is seen. i'm a rebel which is not seen unseen what do you say so that's why we complement each other but yeah, you could know. say i'm the he's the source 
no, no, no. And I'm the that, end that's point. Not, that's so about I, being rebellious. No, yeah, so it's, I, it's, he's the source. That's not what I meant. <laughs> Only thing he also seen and he's not seen is what is yeah because he's the he's the starter he he's, he gets ignites it. it I'm glad he lights the fire of course but on a more serious note what are the changes that you saw in director Rajamouli and how did you uh, even as a director what are the changes you um, you know you uh, detected in your actors because you all started it's almost like he gave you your first break really absolutely. put you on the map no no actually uh, you know, actually he gave me the first break no, yeah <laughs> yes that's oh, what I said. oh yeah okay yes, fine the great. actors yeah he yes. actually did I mean, see, nothing has changed in him, but he's become hungrier. He's thirstier. He's he's in this mode of, you know, seriously, you know, thanks to Rajamouli today that we have erased the imaginary boundaries of regional film and we've become one big film industry. I mean, we're not here endorsing Triple R as a Telugu film. But we're endorsing Triple R as an Indian film, Indian film, and that's happened only because of him. It was his vision of showing the world what Bahubali is, and right now he's in this mode where he's in this complete beast mode. He wants to tell more and more bigger, better stories. All his ideas, he wants to put it in front of this world, and he's hungrier. And, but nothing, his perfectionism is still the same. That will never change. He will never settle down for 99.9. He needs that 100. And he will beg, <laughs> bite, <laughs> kill us if, it's, if he needs to, to get that 100%. And that's what we like in him as a filmmaker. And that's what I think has put him here. I mean, you know, put him where he is today. I mean... Um I mean, uh, my phone. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we both Tarak and me have come from uh, uh, film industry and uh, film family. But uh, when I did my second film with Rajmouli Garu, Magadira, though I did come from a film family, my father had brought me up in such a way, nothing about the industry or the films or the magazines or the awards or any of the pictures, even the fan gave, would ever come into my house. It all stays in the office. So there was no traces of acting or film in or anything. He's never told me when I was starting my first film how to be, how to uh, act, nothing. Even after my first movie, I asked my dad, what do I do better? to be a better actor. Trust me, he literally didn't say anything. He really wanted me to have my own journey. That was the moment when I started my first journey with Mr. Raj Moli. Why in repeatedly I keep saying he's my headmaster, he's like a dean in a college. I literally mean it. I have learned so much in my first movie with him. He is a director, he is a master storyteller. At the same time, he is somewhere my mentor, my guru, somebody, I don't know how my dad would feel, but in a way he has taught me in today's time when I've realized that what is cinema and everything, he's taught me more than my dad. Namaskaram, uh, Namaskaram so uh, yes, uh, SSR sir. Uh, oh, I'm so yeah. sorry. I'm so, <laughs> yeah, I'm so excited. I'm so sorry. Yeah, it's okay. yeah. I'll come back to you. Um, uh, the difference between uh, uh, them, how they changed, uh, obviously it's been uh, years since I worked with them. Obviously the maturity levels have uh, increased. Uh, the naughtiness have come down a, a little really? bit, uh, but otherwise they are the same. Uh, I always say <laughs> Tarak, uh, I always say Tarak is like a, he's a supercomputer. He's like a sponge who absorbs everything, each and everything. I mean, none of us might remember what is there in this hall after we step out. But if you ask him, he will tell you the, what is the color of the carpet? What is the uh, lighting pattern here? 